In this lesson, we'll discuss how to calculate percent composition by mass. Please have your note sheet, calculator, and periodic table handy. If you understand how to calculate a percent, you'll understand how to calculate percent composition by mass. This is where we look at the mass of each element relative to the total mass of the compound and then report that out as a percentage. There are two different masses that we can look at. The molar mass, so the molar mass of the element relative to the molar mass of the compound, or just plain masses, the mass of one element relative to the total mass of the compound. This first problem is where we have to look at molar mass. We want to find the percent composition by mass of each element in H2SO4. So we'll look at each element, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, relative to the entire uh, molar mass of the compound. So let's calculate that first. Hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and there are two of them. Sulfur, 32.07 and there's just one sulfur and then the molar mass of oxygen is 16 and there are four oxygens and then when you add that all up you get 98.09 grams per mole that's the molar mass of the compound now we want to look at each element its molar mass relative to the compound. So let's start with the hydrogen and uh, we're going to take the molar mass of the hydrogen including the 2, so 2.02, .02, divided by the molar mass of the compound times 100 to make it a percent. 2.06 percent. I'm going to have you round these percents to two decimal places. Uh, sig figs can get a little tricky because we are rounding the molar masses. Now we'll do the same thing for sulfur. 32.07 in the numerator and in the denominator the total molar mass for the compound times 100 to make it a percent. We get 32.69%. And then finally, you can do the same thing for the oxygen. 16 times 4 is 64. Divide by the total molar mass, and then times 100. Sixty-five point two five percent When you're all done, these percents should add up to 100. And for the oxygen, if you didn't want to do the calculation this way, you could have taken 100% and then subtracted off the 2.06% and the 32.69% to give you the 65.25% for the oxygen. That would be another option. So what these percents are telling us is that almost two-thirds of this molecule's mass is due to the oxygen and a very small percent is due to the hydrogen. Here we have 7.451 grams of lead and 2.549 grams of chlorine. We want to calculate the percent composition of each element in the compound. We have just straight masses to work with here. So we have the mass of each element. All we would need would be the mass of the compound and then we could calculate our percent composition. So 7.451 grams plus 2.549 grams is 10 grams. That's the total mass for the compound. So now we can look at each element, say the lead, its mass in the numerator, the total mass of the compound in the denominator, times 100 to make it a percent, 74.51% lead, and then the chlorine, you can calculate the same way, or you can take 100% minus 74.51, and that gives you 25.49% 
chlorine. Again, round your percents to two decimal places. So nearly three-fourths of the mass for this compound is due to the lead. And finally, we're back to another chemical formula, very similar to the first example. And so we're going to use molar masses here to calculate the percent composition of each element in barium nitrate. I would like you to work this out on your note sheet, and then we'll go through the answer in class.